lion version of my current helmet. The what version? The lion version. But I don't know what you mean by lion version. That <laughs> odd thing. I'll show you. I just have an obsessive habit of looting every chest. Like, I really should not be looting. I have infinite materials. Whatever. It does not look nearly as good. How's your day been, Sids? The other one looks much better. That is a saber cat. Mm -hmm. I wish you could slide in Skyrim, like if you're sprinting and you press crouch. Like dying light style. If Skyrim just uh, had dying light roll. movement. Dying light movement is just just a really good game all around. I don't know about all around. There's one okay, part the, of the game. Okay, the ending, I, I'm with you all the way. But... <laughs> Whose idea was it that quick time of that? Why would you put QTEs? The entire fight yeah. was still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Did you send me this time? Fight well. Is that someone else? What? It is someone else. S someone else. What'd you say? I, I got a Discord notification. I thought you sent me something, but it was someone else. Oh, yes, okay. Big CSGO turn. Did I tell you, last week, we were two rounds away from getting $100 each? I'm so upset. We lost 16-14. If we had won that game, we would have... Uh, Got a hundred dollars each. It was fourteen to fourteen, and then we lost. It was fifteen fourteen. We lost pretty badly, and then the last round we had a three v two, and the guy just made just a ridiculous play on the other team. Oof. I'm I'm. <laughs> but we got uh we have another tournament tomorrow. It's the same tournament, it's just a second event of it. So, got to win two games because we qualified, and then we get a hundred dollars. Each. I've been ambushed by Hack near Deathbrand, but he can't find me because I'm invisible. <laughs> and now he... I just walk behind him and want to kill him. I remember he was easier to kill than his minions. Oh, I got the achievement sideways for completing 10 side quests. <laughs> That's your 10 side quest? <laughs> Roger has sent a message. What does he want? Thoughts on another Minecraft challenge, but now no teams and it's just Hunger Games with a bigger map. It sounds fun when there's no cheaters. How to set up, though? What was he talking about? No, uh, I see my next Hold message. Up, my parents! Because there's eight of us in normal survival games, is 16. Also, I, I, ha I know a bunch of cool maps. Bunch of cool maps? Yeah.
All right, don't be too hasty saying no one's going to cheat. <laughs> Morgan will find a way to play settler. <laughs> I feel like I have a an unfair advantage though with survival games because when I was little I used to like grind Minecraft survival games like four hours a day because <laughs> it was like I was just obsessed. Really? I was so addicted to it. Yeah, I know the the second map is my favorite. I know it by heart. Dude, I have like even when we were playing today, I had so much nostalgia playing because some of those maps I recognized. It sucks that it was infested with cheaters. This, how did you manage to damage it? Figures. Either way. No. Here's for your trouble. I want to thank you for your help. I know my master can be a bit sh here. Even though the file was damaged, I still think your efforts deserve reward. Now, if you'll pardon me, I'm going to tend to Norelian. I can make his final days a bit less painful. Okay, I think I'm gonna do our comfortable now. The Arkham's quest. Alright, let's do Arkham's. I found one section of the island that's just covered in like green light or green moss. It's weird. It's like irradiated. Part of the island that feels irradiated with a green hue. I feel like it's not really the same feeling to me without a cornucopia rush. Like, if you don't want to go to the yeah. cornucopia, don't go for it. If you think you're going to die, just don't do it. But that will likely lead to early deaths, and early deaths just aren't fun. But it's like 
20 minute games, so. I hear voices in my head. A lady in my head just That's said, normal. Turn back. Please turn back. Or it is too late. It's, it's too late. I'm not turning back. It must be too late. Oh, the whole ground just shook. Earthquake? She's sighing. I now know her name is Catria. Oh, I see her now. The name's Catria. I was on a trail. Wait, which quest are you doing? Oh, you read Ethereum Wars. That was my theory, you know. My the one in Arkangathams. I can't rest. Not until I find but it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Hmm. I'm not going well. That leads to one of the, the site, pretty good out right, items at the end, right? Oh, I have a ghost companion now. <laughs> Big food. Reach the summit of Arkangathams. I just found Varana Nellis at the complete opposite side of the map. I don't know. But she's is. acting like she's still at the. Oh, yeah, because she's um, possessed. What'd you say? She's possessed, right? Wait, what? She's one of the possessed people? I don't think so. She's not working away at one of the mines. She's just walking. Oh. She got fed up. Oh my god. Why does the ghost companion have a freaking hitbox. What the? My ghost companion is stuck in a corner. I really hope she can teleport. Sprinting through the quest. The one thing is I don't have poison resistance on anything. So like poison actually does damage. Him. I get one hit killed by the tentacles that come out of the water in the The black the, Yeah. Oh I don't. I never hurt. When I did it, I did not. I gotta do all my packing because I'm leaving tomorrow. So I gotta do that all Wait, the way. Where are you going? To Minnesota. Are you going back? Yeah. How come? Had enough money now from working or what? Do what? Did you like just work enough to the point where you're content with the money or like why are you going back? Because, I mean, school's over. It'll be good to see my family help with the move. It's just, I've seen like, the move. right thing to do. Yeah. What move? <laughs> to my mother's father's home. My 
Wait, Blade I'm so grandfather confused. Chrome? So the house that the new house that your mom got is now being sold or what? Well, the townhouse that we've been living in will be sold. Okay. And my mother just bought a bought her father's home after he died. Oh. Bought? So we're moving into that. Okay. And that's why my mother's broke. She's literally down to four thousand dollars in her bank. Why'd she buy it? Because it's her father's home. So. And she didn't want to stay in the townhome forever. Uh, okay. I mean, she has more than $4,000. She has $4,000 plus the worth of the home. The house is an asset. Yeah. Did she buy it or is she going to have to get a mortgage for it? She, she has to get a mortgage for it. So she, uh, had, she, she barely I, I had enough her, for the down I think, payment. I think her brother really ripped her off, and is kind of like rubbing in, it, rubbing it into her, and it's really taking a toll on her. Oh, I see. Yeah. There's been a lot of drama. Yeah, it's been tough. It is a lake home. That's nice. Where is it? On Eagle Lake in Maple Grove. Oh, I know that. Really close. Oh, really close to the junior Yeah, I, no, I know exactly where Eagle Lake is. I golf there all the time. You golf there? I don't know of any golf courses nearby. Eagle Lake golf course? <laughs> I don't know about that one. What? <laughs> it's literally right. It's called Eagle Lake golf, golf course. Is it looking over Eagle Lake? It's literally called the Eagle Lake golf course, and it's right on Eagle Lake. Does it have like a clear view of Eagle Lake? Because I've been all around Eagle Lake. I didn't see any golf courses. It doesn't. Have, it's not like a lakefront because it's a, a golf okay. course, but directly next to the. <laughs> That's funny. You didn't know there was a golf course there. Ah, uh, would I? Unfortunate that your mom had to buy the house. Oh yeah, really tough. Did uh, her brother get like a hundred percent equity of it, or what? No, it was it was split between was, um, her th two brothers and her. So she already had a third of it, but then had to pay off her brothers. Supposed to just go down this waterfall? I guess I'm supposed to just go down this waterfall. Pray for me if I'm wrong. Oh, I just gotta crash the stuff. I bet NFL players get a lot of those, but um. C T D C T E. Mm. Get it? Funny oh, joke. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. They're I laughing. Oh, wow. They're laughing behind me. Not at my yeah. joke, but they're laughing. <laughs> I'm so stacked on. Uh, I don't know what to pick up and what not to pick up.
I've... I'm so mad. I just went the wrong way. At some point I took a wrong turn. Ninety percent of this quest has been me just sprinting. <laughs> oh, I just got the achievement in Solheim Explorer. Just what? Got the achievement for Solheim, Soul Slime Explorer. Ah ha ha! You've done it again. You did it again. I found a crazy strange vessel. This looks like some sort of airship. I found a dwarven airship, I think. Oh. 
One, two, two, three. Got it. That's what we need. Guest left. That's one. Oh my. Yeah, it, I look it up. It really is a Dwemer airship. That's so cool. Huh. I didn't know that Dwemer had airships except for the this random one in Morrowind. <coughs> Very nice. Oh, this person says it's actually the crash, the same crashed airship from Morrowind. That's cool. That's crazy. That's so cool. Collect the treasure of Arctimus. So this is it. Don't need any of this, dude. So it is real. Look, on the edge here. This is I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. We have to find the other pieces, of course. I had a map in my journal. We still have... Ah, oh, there's so much... For the first time in a long while, I think I... We may actually be able to do this. And... And I owe it all to you. Thank you. She disappeared. Rogers told us we should join the craft discord. But we're not playing Minecraft. I guess Roger wants us to join the Minecraft Discord. Not sure why it's so necessary for us. Oh, he met his craft Discord. Makes a little more sense. I guess I'll join it. Into the tower, he just sucks. Hello. Hey, there he is. Uh, and then a hard fine. carry there who is. has one shitty item at like 25 minutes. Hey, 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 oh. hey, hey, language. Huh? Why did you guys get it at the same time? Right? Did you finish your anal sesh? Is that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> I just know you, Alex. <laughs> I know how you spend your time, devious dog. <laughs> Is it that obvious? That was perfect. There's no shortcut out of Arkengithums. Classic Arkengithums. Arkengithams. Arkengithams. Mm. Please tell me. A-R-K-N-G-T-H-A-M-Z. Arkengithams. Yeah, we'll just say that's right. I think each one of the Dwemer ruins was... The name was uh, created by someone just slamming oh. their forehead on the keyboard. <laughs> on the keyboard, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then just like use the yeah. yeah. Alec and it's I even so discovered funny. earlier in the game that they there's only there's like two uh places with the name. Yeah, oculatories. And one they were mistyped. One was spelled occultory and the other was spelled oculatory. It's like which one is it? And those are the only times ever that series of letters is uttered. Thank you're reading too they deep on that. How, how can I jump higher in Skyrim? Is that possible? Can I use whirlwind sprint to go up? I can't. Uh, TCL, the no. console command. No, 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 that's some cheese. Resin. I mean, I'll you can go farther using whirlwind sprint. You can stack items on the ground. No, I... No. In Skyrim, levitation magic was banned, so it's not really an option. Is it actually? Yeah, that's the reason why there's no levitation in, the, in Skyrim. But that's also why in Telmithrin, the elevator is magical and uses levitation magic. Because it's not in Skyrim. Exactly, which is so cool. Everything is connected in Skyrim. I love that lore. What if I don't like that? Yeah, well, this trash lore. Yeah. But it's not. It's the thing. Oh my god, I hate myself. I hate you too. No. Okay. I would never say that. There's no way. I just did that. That was so stupid of me. I forgot to quick save and I jumped off a ledge, so my only option was to quick load. So I have to like redo the last two minutes of me sprinting. Uh. Uh, you like this quest, by the way? Which quest? Our King of Thams. I like the rewards. I'm OP, I don't need any rewards, I just need to finish the game. Stallroom is such a creepy ore. It's really just ice that has been soaked in uh, Draugr juice. What if you're lying to me and I will have you burned at the stake for what you just said? Have oh. you never mined Stallroom? You never read God's Word? Even? What? I have read God's word. Can't say I have. You've never read the Bible? I don't think so. Read the Bible. You piece of shit. I only... <laughs> Are you talking about like you've never read it in, in its entirety or just the actual... Like anything. I read the book of John. I, I like, have a single... I read the entire New Testament. I have a single passage on my... On a... Dog... Or not dog collar. Dog tag or whatever you call them. Like in the military, what do you call yeah, those dog things? Cog. Dog cog. Yeah, the dog cog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, and it says, "As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another," and that's from something. Mm. Apparently, the only Bible verse I know is from the intro to Fallout Three. War never changes. No, it's like <laughs> you remember, Al. You remember, right? It's like uh, I'm Alpha and Omega, or whatever that one. I don't remember that. Something about water. I see. What about? So, Masma, you've read the New Testament. What? You've read the entire New Testament? Not in like one sitting, but I have read every book of the New Testament. I mean, I've read the four Testament? Gospels. I've read bits and pieces, but not even close to the majority. Wow, so you're just anti-Semitic? No, I went to Catholic high school. <laughs> they don't care about the Old Testament. <laughs> Jew hater. 
What's your take on Timothy? <laughs> That's Bruce a hot take, man. <laughs> That's a hot take. <laughs> Masma, what's your take on Timothy two twelve? I don't know verses. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I personally let me pull out my pocket Bible and cross. You're not gonna that. like my take on any of. <laughs> Alright, this line is I do not permit a woman to teach or to Oh, actually, I do know that particular verse I think the entirety of the Bible is bullshit I mean, I, I think, think there's, some, there's some useful, like, moral Oh, I think there's good lessons contained yeah. in it Yeah there's But I think there's good lessons. lessons contained in every religion's holy Yeah, book, there's so. some not-so-epic <laughs> lessons <laughs> Some less than epic. <laughs> I shall not permit a woman to teach. <laughs> Samuel 15.3. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Now go and strike Amalek and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep. Well, isn't and that like the punishment one? Uh, yeah, it's the punishment for the ruler. Yeah. For being a dumb thought. Oh. But, like, I mean, there's also like Sodom and Gomorrah. Like, yeah, where they just... Nuke the city. Yeah. <laughs> just kill every single one of them. <laughs> but I killed them all. The women and the children too. The Bible, but told exclusively through prequel means. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Old Testament pretty much is the ultimate prequel. <laughs> Psalm one thirty seven includes "Happy is the one who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks." That's the second one. We're halfway there. Well, can you repeat? I didn't I'll hear it. Uh, Katria was, was woman explaining me. Huh? What? The, the Skyrim character was talking, so I couldn't hear you. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, Psalm 137. Yeah, I heard that part. Happy is the one who seeks your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Oh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I mean, th there's gotta be some context for that. It's not the entire psalm, is it? There's no uh, way that's the entire psalm. Okay, I'm gonna look up the entire psalm for this. Because that's. Psalm 137. Psalms are just essentially folk songs. Mm hmm. Okay, do you want me to. What if you find, like, Ragnar the Red in there? There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. Ragnar the Red. From Ultra Rickstead. What? This is in the Bible? <laughs> I love that this is in the crap chat. That's what, your third? Alright, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. Who has a young boy you walk in their room? Uh, is not a young boy that you just heard. It is a young girl, <laughs> but it's my brother's friend. Don't lie to me, Natan. I know you deal exclusively in young boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know the saying about clocks. You are a libertarian. Oh God! <laughs> I'm libertarian, which means I think child molestation should be illegal. Yep, that's how it works, right? <laughs> Damn government, get your hands off me. <laughs> Numbers 31, 17 through 18. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has known a man Alex. intimately. This actually is prequel means. Known man intimately, spare for yourselves. Yeah. Alex, you, you are literally, like... Like, you realize I'm a straight-up, self-avowed, like, atheist, right? Like, you are just reiterating... Yeah, you're preaching to the choir here. <laughs> oh. I think these are hilarious. Yeah, Slave it's the moral okay, foundation for most of the Catholic world. <laughs> Ephesians 6.5 Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, if slavery was real, it seems like an adequate, like, like a normal thing to say for a slave. Well, I mean, like, the people were masters own own slaves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone owned slaves until, like, 200 years ago. Like, does anyone deny that the Bible is just, like, folk stories Wait, from... Wait, are you saying we don't do that anymore? I Some mean, not do. on the same scale, it, 
Yeah, maybe like my dad's got some explaining. Like, like I think technically <laughs> there's actually more people in slavery than any other time in history right now, but that's only because like it's it's also like against the law. Yeah, it's just like that's like you can't really stop that other than enforcement. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not legal anywhere. To there's no major country in the world where slavery is legal. Oh, bro, like yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can. Make the argument that China has forced labor camps, <laughs> but we don't talk about that. China is, you know, they're doing their own thing. They're vibing. Concentration camps for Muslim people, harvesting organs from them while they're alive. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, at least they're not dead when they harvest the organs. We right. should it all happened. we should all be taking a note from North Korea in this COVID crisis. They don't have a single. Can you case guys over really? There. Can you really blame China though? Like sometimes you just gotta harvest organs from people while they're still alive. Like you know, it happens. Everyone you gotta get them fresh. You gotta get them fresh. Correct. What's the what's the alternative? <laughs> there isn't. I don't see a way out for them. Way out for whom? China and organ harvesting. It's just money. It's free real estate. <laughs> it's free real estate. You can't expect them not to harvest the organs. Are owned by the state. Well, did you yeah. ever did you ever listen to the Alex Jones, Joe Rogan? I can't. No, I ever listen to one of them. There's like three. No, there's two. There's the old one and the new. I listen to the old one. Okay, the new one is funny. He talks about. Wait, like, how how new is the new one? Like a year old? Yeah, like I watched it last summer when it came out at Logan's. So yeah, it came out last June. Okay, well, I listened to one last stream break in the car with Logan and. Oh Zach. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he said that was the last summer. Oh, I have nine. No, last, last stream break. break. Yeah, that was the old one then. Yeah. That was good. It was good, but the new one, I, I like the new one more to be honest. There's a new Elon Musk one too. I I have not liked either of the Elon Tusk ones. I the large like I like Elon Musk vaguely, but I am not a fan of Elon Musk, and I don't think he's as smart as people think he is. Well, like the, he just like is socially awkward, so like he stutters constantly. He's very yeah, he's very socially awkward. He was just stuttering. He's like constantly. a physicist. <laughs> like... well, not a physicist. He's a he's a programming slave. He's a, he's a comp scientist. Yeah, I mean, his degree is in physics degree but he got that like he got his fortune by coding paypal paypal right well uh zip2 and then paypal but like he i mean paypal was the power of the cash no no zip2 was 235 million it was his first one paypal was like 500 million or something paypal was like 2 billion but that came way after like he had already had multiple hundreds of million dollars from zip2 what he looks younger now than he did when programming PayPal. Elon Musk. Unless we see rich. Yeah. <laughs> His wife slash partner is so odd. Yes. Did they, you hear a comment about Jesus when he named her kid the N word? What? She was like, I, we were originally planning on naming our uh, kid. You know how they got like a weird ass name? Yeah, the X. E hold on, I, I remember it. X A E. A12. F A12, yeah. Anyways, she originally she sent out a tweet saying we originally were thinking about HP Lovecraft's dog's name, which was straight up. Oh, yeah, N -word. that was the N word. Yeah. So, either a weird joke or like, what? <laughs> HP Lovecraft was hilariously racist. Like, cartoonishly so. Yeah, car exactly. It's so funny. Like, it, wasn't even, it wasn't even like casual. It was like, whoa, bro. It's so funny. <laughs> the funniest thing is because like he didn't get famous until after he died. Like when he was writing, he was broke as fuck, <laughs> and he's just this racist poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> and like the irony is like he's like, black people are the reason I'm not getting money and stuff. And then like after he dies, he becomes famous, and like his estate gets millions, of, hundreds of millions of dollars. It really requires some mental gymnastics to say, huh, I'm poor. <laughs> this entire reason's fault. <laughs> like, what? Mental gymnastics. Yeah. It's like, oh, I know who's at blame. 
Is it me for not providing a service to society? No. <laughs> it, it must be that just an entire wrong. race of people. Mental gymnastics. That's the only explanation. It's like the freaking Olympic gold medal finals. <laughs> You know, I do respect the people who are just, like, extremely clearly racist, more so than the people who are, like, sneaky racist. You know? I don't know, because often the people that are sneaky racist aren't entirely confident in their racism, which is better than being flat-out super racist. So, uh, my family's Russian, uh, they're all sneaky racist. Like, every Russian in human history. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. So yeah, definitely better than outright, outright races. I guess I, I guess I don't really know any super outright racist people. That's not really a My boy large HP. demographic of people. I, I mean, like real life, not like some random book author. Real life, yeah. Like HP Lovecraft didn't exist. Just fake news. He is fake. Yeah, but he's old as fuck. Old people don't count. Such a good writer, actually. Like, I've never read any of this stuff. Oh, he does Tales of Horror, right? Yeah, he does Tales of Horror. I actually did read some of his stuff. He, yeah, he, he, he did Cthulhu. He is Cthulhu's dad. Your mom is Cthulhu's dad. Cthulhu's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu had daddy problems. Only dad one person a, could be Cthulhu's daddy. His dad was a not-so-closet racist. <laughs> Uh, Roger, I counter your whoa oh oh it's magic with whoa Yankee with no rim. Is that Morgan that just joined? Yeah. It's either Morgan or it's HP Lovecraft. <laughs> and as we Morgan, know, both are 100% equally likely. What are you doing? Pay attention. What? I don't know what's playing in the background. Someone has been told to pay attention. You wasted two kills, and I just got one. You wasted two kills. <laughs> Someone has wasted two kills, they just got one. I'm shame. Yeah. What's with the psalm? <laughs> We're finding our own line of that psalm so much. Uh, Alec, talk about the women teaching. That one was funny. That one's actually my favorite. The uh, oh, like a classic anti-woman line of the Bible. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Yeah, only like half of it. <laughs> yeah. Morgan left. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't take. Well, the woman so, one's funny. That yeah, was just like I, comically. I think the psalm is hilarious. Just imagine someone singing. Happy is the one that seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. That needs to be like a pop song these days. I, I love you like a love song. I love smashing heads. I love your children. And where, do you, where do you think the band Smashing Pumpkins came from? So, Morgan, you there? Yeah, sorry, Wi Fi cut out for a bit. Oh, <laughs> that was comically timed. Sure, sure. Yeah, you don't have the answer. wanted me to tell you a uh, verse. You just left. No, 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 sorry. Please explain. <laughs> Timothy 2.12. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have a third authority over a man. She must be silent. That was St. Peter who said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, I got nothing on that one. No, no rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs>
The, the smashing heads one's good too. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I don't really understand Psalm. I don't think it's God telling us to kill infants. I don't think that's it. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious that that's part of the Psalm. Or uh, another good one is from Ephesians six twelve. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Obviously. What would you say is the most popular book? Is that John? John, follow me, and thou shalt, whatever. Every single athlete in human history is John 316 in their bio. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> and then whichever verse says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, blah, 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 blah. That, oh. that is John 316. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how much I know the Bible. <laughs> There's also the one that every white woman has on a, like, a framed quote in their living room. It's like, God grant me... Be the, happy. No, no, God oh. grant me the serenity <laughs> to change the things I can't change or whatever. Oh, that's a point. I don't think what you said is a quote, grant me the serenity. That's just... the thing that I can't change. The courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know. Yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong? Is that not in every white woman's living room ever? <laughs> don't, don't, Alex. <laughs> don't worry. Do, Bob Marley. Do, do. Be happy. Did y'all have that fish? I had a fish that sang that. Oh, my grandpa did. Nice. Did not. <laughs> you guys remember the well, McDonald's you're Filet fish commercial? Give me that fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that fish. Give me that fish. <laughs> Give, me that fish. <laughs> Give me that fish. What if, if you it were, were you two, hanging Bible up verse? on this wall? If it were what you, you in that sandwich, you wouldn't be laughing at all. Sorry, what were you saying? If you had to tattoo a Bible verse on your arm, what would you choose? John 3.16, because then I wouldn't, like, be made fun of. <laughs> I don't know about that last part. I feel, like I, sh I feel like we should make fun of the John 3.16 guys more than the others. Mm. I suppose. But then, I honestly, want... tattoo the Timothy 2.12. Give it to me straight. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would be so funny. It's like, oh, what does that mean? Like, you just look it up. You're like, oh, look it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone would actually right? kill you at our school. Yeah. Timothy 212 is the one one. Yeah, 212. Yeah, you might get shanked. There was that one, there's a, oh, no. it's really funny, in the NFL draft, the Patriots had a weird, really odd draft. Uh, one of the guys they picked in the fifth round was a kicker, and he was a white kicker, so everyone's like, oh my god, Patriots draft another white kicker, but... This dude had a Nazi, like, thing tattooed on his arm, so he had to get it removed, because everyone on Twitter is like, bruh. I would do a brat and Italian sausage if you have enough. He did not have that tattoo. <laughs> I don't think he's talking. <laughs> you know, I would really love one too, Roger. If you'd be would you? Yeah, y'all yeah, want some? All right. Yeah, thanks for offering. Dave. I think I'm just going to stick with the Italian sausage. Do you want to hear my favorite line from Jesus? Nope. You mean juice? What? Juice. That's the last yes. One, isn't it? Juice. It's, it's Jesus' slang name. <laughs> juice. No, no. <laughs> my, my nickname in high school is Juicy, so does that mean I am a god? Jesus. I'll show you what I mean. Or Jesus, whatever. Who, who ever would nickname you Juicy? Don't ask me how I got that name. I, they literally just call me Juicy Raj, and it just stuck. And it, it, <laughs> you can't say why. <laughs> Mr. Juice. <laughs> Mr. Juice. Hey, look in the chat. One group of girls called me White Chocolate. No, 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 no. You can't be named White Chocolate. That's the nickname of NBA, former NBA player Jason Williams. He was White Chocolate. Oh. Alec, I, I'm going to start calling you white chocolate. <laughs> I feel oh. like that's gross. He's not white chocolate. I'm just going to call him stupid. <laughs> hey, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Matthew 1034. 
Jesus says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. <laughs> Morgan, I just beat Giratina. Really? That's how far you are? Yeah. Oh my. Okay. How much do you have completed? Well, isn't like, that the last of it? Things. Now aren't we like at the same spot now? Uh, oh, that's true. You gotta go to uh, Sunny Shore. Now. Oh, Ralvathar leads to Blackreach if you have an item. Doom that's weird. It's weird. I've already 100%ed Blackreach. Don't need to ever go there again. Oh. You fought the Blackreach dragon, right? I did. I was for dying that bell. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's the weirdest oh. thing. How did someone discover that? I don't know. How can I get out? I can't. I can't. Oh, there. All right, I gotta start packing. Are you not playing? You will play. Uh, yeah. When is that happening? Eight thirty. <laughs> We were hoping. I mean, we're all here. All of us that are gonna play are here already. So I guess we Morgan. just make time now. Yeah, Moss, what's up? So, oh, is this something that's gonna go I'm, on my server? I'm gonna go to yeah, get it set up. Like thirty minutes. Yeah, if you could get it set up, then we could stall a little bit while you pack at least. Because right. well, someone should give me a map. To use. So okay, the way I have a lot of experience because when I was little, I used to play a lot of Minecraft Hungry. So you said no cornucopia, but I think cornucopia would be fun because there's like a time limit anyway. Oh, I wasn't. I didn't think there was gonna be a time limit. I'm very okay with cornucopia. I thought it was just gonna be like just PvP survival, like we all just kind of spawn our own spots and then go from there, and that's it. I think what would be fun yeah. is like just but playing then... Hunger Games Among Us. Like you start near the circle, and like in a circle near the cornucopia, and choose to either eat it out of there or loot the corn, which is dangerous and scary. And then, oh, typically how it worked was. There's a time limit and after the time limit is reached, or there's four players left, then it'd go to a deathmatch where everyone's brought back to the corn, just like in the books. Wait, I wasn't listening to any of that. Could you repeat all of it? <laughs> okay. How I've typically <laughs> played it is start in the middle near corn. If you want to go to corn, you can. If you want to leave and hide or something, you can do that. But there'd be a 20 minute time limit, and once that's reached, or four players are left alive, everyone's teleported back to the middle for a four person or whatever deathmatch. We could just remove that time limit. Yeah, I just think no death match, and then I'm good with the rest. No, like, I think it's just well in the natural. books. In the in the book, well, once there's like two people left, that's gonna be annoying. Even in the in the hunger. Oh, games once there's two people left, there should be a death match. I agree with that. In the books, it was with four people left, so I think that'd be fair. But if we wanted to do it with two, my only issue is that's like halfway in, you know. Oh, that's true. I guess. Yeah, with our group of there's people, there's only six be, of us. Yeah, yeah, with our group of yeah, people. Like, that's, that's, yeah, like that. I would do it too. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. That way, it's not just two people hiding in the woods, <laughs> avoiding each other. Yeah, but I do think it'd be. We can play that where we can do the PvP survival. So you don't want a map where there's chests hidden around? No, just in the middle. Well, in the Minecraft survival games, that's how it worked. There were chests hidden around and chests in the middle. But the chests in the middle were a higher tier, so you get way better loot from them. Yeah. I, my thought is we just have so few people, I think all these extra rules are unnecessary, you know? But, like, if yeah, we can I just get, like, a server plug-in that runs it automatically, I think it'd be pretty easy to set up. That's why. That's why. Because those maps, like, you can just download them, and then with a the server plug-in, just play them. So, I don't know. I feel like it could be cool if we're just thrown into a random map, and then all we need no is world order. It is a bit of an advantage for whoever creates the map to know where all the shit is. A normal map, or should we do like a pre-made map? That I'm, I'm, there are some really cool pre-made maps, but all the Hunger Games styled ones have chests hidden around. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Just have them spawn with random loot, and then not respawn. Well, they're already filled with random loot, but <laughs> no, they're usually they usually spawn empty, and then the generator randomly generates loot. The, I haven't seen mm -hmm. any. Adventure maps like that, or no, no, I'm saying like the literal MC survival games maps, like the ones made by Variety. 
Yeah, yeah, those ones are, but we don't yeah. have any of the mods that would do that. So we I would just imagine there's to... just one plug-in, like if you just run a bucket. If you can find it, but I don't want to set up a bucket. Morgan, where do I go after fighting Giratina? I went to Sunny Shore, but it won't let me through. <laughs> uh, did you go and talk to the professor first? I have to go and talk to the professor? Yep. Why? Because then he'll be like, oh my goodness, you did it. You beat Giratina. And th that's it. Then, then, then you're good. What class <laughs> is this for? Haha, <laughs> see, that was a joke. Okay. Your joke sucked. Yeah, yeah it was one of my weaker materials. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> At least I try to bring humor to the group, Roger. What do you provide? Financial Pretty stability. Debatable. It's a bad time to get lost. No wrong tower. Wrong spot. Ooh. That is a dragon. Hello, dragon. Fight me. I played Skyrim. Game. Yeah. How oh, can I have been playing Skyrim for the last? What month? class do you usually play? Class? I'm aware there's no actual classes, but like, how do you build? Do you mean race or like? Oh, how do I build? Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm a dual wielding OP man. <laughs> Melee. My, like, I literally one shot, I two shot legendary dragons. I'm about to one shot this blood dragon. I don't take any magic or physical damage. Like, I literally don't just. Take physical damage. Like, I just don't take damage very much. Like, I burn jetted with damage. I just. Nope. Bah. Get up. Yeah, I just, I just Bleh. like. Virtually don't take any damage at all. Anyway. Yeah, that's what happened to me with Skyrim, and then I just got like, meh. <laughs> like, you can only have so much fun when you're invincible. Yeah, well, I'm doing all the quests right now in the game, so I have an objective, which makes it fun. Because I got to the point where I was able to double enchant stuff, and then after that, yeah, exactly. it was just, I just didn't take any damage from, like, things, and I was like, well. Oh. Yep, that's the way it is for me. I just sprint through stuff to finish quests. But... I don't know, like, I've never, like, finished, I've never done half of these quests I'm doing right now, so I've I found a really cool looking survival game map. Which one? It's called Zone 85. My personal favorite. I got favorite. a military thing. I wonder if you can find it. My personal favorite map is Minecraft Survival Games 2. It's like a big urban city. I had that was my favorite map. Oh, well, we're not gonna do like just natural, pure. I think a pre I think a pre-made map would be more fun, to be honest. Yeah, I could get behind a pre-made map. I don't care. I found the map you're talking about. I remember playing on this one. Yeah, that one was the my favorite. Only problem is that it's kind of huge for us. It's longer than usual. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's part. Of I'm the fine with it being large. I'm fine with it being big. Worst case, we can just pause tonight and start another day. Yeah. That'd be large than small. It's designed for 24 <laughs> players. That's Excellent. how many we have. Perfect for us. Yeah. There's 150 total chests. Oh, late. So I get 149 of them. You guys ah. can split the rest. <laughs> Wait, uh, Roger. Uh, you mean we get 159? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Moss, well, you, uh, well, that was. That went on set. So I think if we exposed. played it like a mini game of Risk, that'd also be fun. Because in the original Hunger Games, there was like teams allowed up to any degree. No, yeah, I think it should be allowed. But it has to be like no teams. pre -mades. I don't like, know. There can teams be backstabs. So OP. It's not OP because like let's say you're yeah, you can just, easily backstab people. Yeah, like let's say yeah. your your friend finds a diamond sword. And like sword it happened and, in the actual yeah. Hunger Games, and that's yeah. what we're basing it off, right? Okay, we can try it. If you're like. Okay. <laughs> Like, if your boy finds a diamond sword and, like, you're, like, I don't know, looting a chest, you can get, like, three free hits on him if you really want to kill them. It's like, you have to be really careful who you trust. 
Yeah, and yeah. only one person can end up winning, so. Yeah, exactly. You'd have to fight eventually. And, like, I doubt we're going to do something cheesy like five guys get together, you know? <laughs> well, it would be like oh, duos messing would... around. All right, everyone <laughs> against Allie. <laughs> <laughs> so who wants to join my five-man hit squad? Are you either with us or are you the first killed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Alright, uh, good job. Guys? <laughs> now you just make it awkward. <laughs> Alright. After I finish this quest, I will focus on Minecraft stuff. You are I am lagging a ton. Upload. I was laggy. The map. I was saying, Oops. after I finish this quest, I will do Minecraft. There he goes. <laughs> oh, this game's so over. It's nice to be winning for once. What game? Unturned. <laughs> what other game is worth playing, Alec? You're killing me with every word. Alec, you did not just say that. So this is designed for an older version of Minecraft, so we'll see how it behaves. It's true. But I think it won't have, or it'll just be like the basic form with already loaded chests and items and everything, so it should work well still, but we'll see. It's a and yeah, this will bring back so many ancient memories when Natan and I did yeah. use this map. It's I'll, I'll... childhood memories an unfair advantage. <laughs> like honestly probably yeah yeah <laughs> but I remember this parkour over to a center island in a little pond that's you a remember that map. place that's a completely different map oh okay maybe I don't know what I'm talking about there is like one where you had to do parkour to get to the cornucopia that was like survival game 6 I'm not talking about the cornucopia I'm talking about something to the east maybe then or what I never oh, went there, yourself. I was into this. <laughs> we, or to we, some direct we, we. <laughs> Damn, I miss Weast. It's <laughs> taking ages to just upload this map. It's almost done though. Oh, it's done. Upload or down? Upload. Oh, yeah, I can come out and do it. Oh, you have to upload maps to the. Oh, is he outside? Alright, I'm starting the server. Let's see how it behaves.
logging onto my server. Yeah. Or not. It's taking a while to start up. type thing. Yeah. It was going to be called the Dark Universe, and even the shape of water was going to be included in it. Oh, what happened to Raven? The shape of water? Yeah. Well, okay. It was going to be until the, like, the main dude behind the shape of water turned it down. But yes, the shape of water. Bro, dude, this is so anticlimactic. I just one shot the Forge Master. Oh my god, uh, Kadri, you're killing me! That was hilarious. I one shot the Forge Master. He fell into the lava, so I went to go loot him. And then Kadri started talking to me for automatic dialogue, so I was just taking damage while she talked to me and I couldn't move. Hey, well, my server's up, and it looks like things are working. And my Dota game's the best of the Oko. We're stomping. And my Skyrim mission plus. But I thought you were playing on the turn. All right. I mean, no one thought I was actually playing the turn. To be honest, <laughs> I did. I did. I wouldn't put anything beyond you. There's only one thing left to do. Huh. All right. Well, I guess I didn't All right. Don't give yourself oh. an advantage by looking around. I'm not going to. It's only. Oh, are you guys in it right now? Yeah. I don't know. Make it count. No. Is it a city? Wait, how do you get in there? There's a bunch of runes around. So we started okay, in a little right. forest area. Okay. Oh, why do you have a diamond yeah. sword? <laughs> Morgan? Oh, oh. Is that not allowed? <laughs> no, you sh Morgan should not start. Well, okay, maybe maybe we need to give him a little bit of leeway. You, you didn't see that. He does stop. <laughs> I see that achievement. Yeah, this is Morgan's settler. Settler. He's, he's on Settler right here. now, boys. It's okay. <laughs> but actually, though, once you get into your your Alec, how do you get out? Well, when we are actually playing, you can break leaves. Oh, okay. You have to punch. So if you go... Oh, interesting. Because we, we will have free destructive control. That's true. Well, actually, can you try just breaking grass before replacing it? I want to make sure you can... Well, I guess you're up, so it okay. won't matter. So you're That's not a good cool. test subject. Uh, do you want me to go into survival though? Because I st I also no wait no I can't. Yeah, I'm not a good test subject. I could deop you and then we could test. Yeah, sure. Let's try that. I have a grass block so I can replace it. All right, you're deoped. Oh, I'm still in clear. Oh. You're deoped. Uh, if you want to put me in uh, survival. Oh, uh, <laughs> Did you DF yourself? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I didn't DF myself, I said my own DM mode. Uh oh. <laughs> you popped my name at the end of it. I set you into creative mode, I'm... ...messed this up. <laughs> Alright, there you yeah. go. Oh, you, uh, that works, okay. There's obsidian under there. <laughs> yeah, because they don't want you mining too low. Pretty good about that. Right. Oh, so you don't. That's smart. <laughs> So yeah, just I guess we should stuff. all take a look around. Yeah. Like, don't take a close look around, but it is nice to take a, yeah. a quick look around. No looking. No. I'm no not look. looking around. Just look in and take a look around. The server's on. Is there a world border? Yes. Where? It's a big map. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. What if I just, like, broke the glass? Don't break the glass. Yeah, you're not allowed to break glass, by the I'm way, people. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because then you can just escape. Oh, 
It's on you, Joanne. Uh, after I finish this Skyrim thing. Oh, this city is so cool. Yeah, exactly. I love this map. This is my favorite map. I've seen cooler, but this is pretty cool. Alec, you should also download the original one. The original Minecraft battle game one. Later. Alright, Morgan, now I just need a level. Excellent. Uh, Alec, I'm stuck in the Ethereum Forge area. Coming into craft. How do I get out? Are you guys familiar with the song Year 3000 by the Jonas Brothers? No. Yes. I learned how to play it and sing it, Morgan. Really? Oh no. Oh, oh god. What is the status on people being able to just get resources normally? <laughs> what, Don, what is this picture you put in chat? Can, oh, the are juice? People allowed, <laughs> Natan, are people allowed to like break down trees to get wood and junk? In the original survival games, you weren't allowed to break or place any blocks. I think we should. Saying, I'm not seeing any chests. I see a ton. Really? Yeah, they're all over. Here it comes too cool for daddy. But a lot of these chests just contain things like stone swords, which would be, we could just get instantly, which makes chests yeah. not very special. If you could yeah. break stuff. Yeah, I yeah. think we should just break stuff. Oh, I, I, I think you should no, break I stuff. Think you don't break stuff. Yeah, I think you don't. But then if you don't find a chest, which is kind of RNG, you're a little fucked. Well, it makes it more interesting, and it really encourages exploring. And this is a really cool map yeah. to explore. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, okay. You can easily hunker down in one spot. Down. Yeah, if you could with such a big map too. Yeah. If this is a smaller food. map. I think you could easily persuade me into doing breaking stuff, but with this big of a map, nah. Yeah. Does anyone know how to get food in this map? You find them in chests, or you can kill animals you find. You are allowed. To I'm hearing that. mobs spawn There's in no... buildings. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, we, I should make this peaceful. Alec, how do you... Oh, yeah, there should be no mobs. <laughs> yeah, I am currently surrounded by, uh, like, eight skeletons. <laughs> I assume that's been fixed. Yes, thank the lord. <laughs> oh, does peaceful change... I should not make it peaceful. I should make it so that mobs don't spawn. Because peaceful changes how health works, right? It's true. You should do that. Yeah. Unless peaceful would be better as it... Limits how no, peaceful. important food is. No, peaceful. You regen like instantly. Oh. Okay. This is such a tall tower. Where am I going? There are like no chests in here. There's 150 chests across the entire map. Actually, uh, I was looking at a different map for the number. The, for this map, it just says there are many chests. Hmm. I remember I but for one. a similarly sized map, it said there was 150. I'm gonna log on the server really quick. Alec, you should download like all of the... Veride made like yeah. seven survival games maps and they're all great. I've been looking... This is so dark. I... Looks like that's it. Let's go. Increase your brightness? No, I'm like in, Got him. in a skyscraper. Yeah, there is, this map is absolutely enormous. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I'm a big For just fan. like six people, though. Who cares? <laughs> It'll be fun just exploring, to be honest. I got a stick. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh Wait, my god. Wait, this place you get a stick? <laughs> Are you looting stuff, Morgan? Shoot. Nope, it was on the ground. I found three sticks. 